welcome back to the channel guys how you all doing i am in the kitchen and as you can see right in my hand guys this is smoked fish smoked fish i don't know if you've ever seen even fish smoked like this this is how we preserve it guys i know most of you have seen it fresh and you could have not seen it smoked but this is how it looks when it's smoked guys so this is actually pride of course and i am your girl eunice guys i'm going to cook um smoked fish and this this here we call it mchula i don't know how you guys call it some people uh, does, now this is a different version from the one I planted remember I planted this but it's a different variety I can say not even a version variety from what I planted I want to eat this today so guys um, I was told it's called eggplant some people told me it's bitter berries some people like they've given me a lot of names in that I even failed to know which is the right name guys so how about you let me know how you call it you yourself in English hmm? otherwise for us to call it in Kula. so this is how it's cooked guys we first put the fish to steam or to boil with salt you just put it in salted water and leave it to boil until the fish is actually ready so that is exactly what we're going to do let me just put it on fire as it's going to be boiling let me be cleaning my my tula here so that it's going to be ready for cooking with these guys. Hmm? This is ready. You can see the, the super stand, kind of whitish. Yeah, so that's what shows that it's ready so let me leave it here to be cooling because i'll need it to cool before i can remove the bones of it so guys we're going to start frying as you can see everything is ready So what I do is I just measure the cooking oil to make sure that it's not too much. Put two of that. Well, guys, for this, um, the ntula, there are some people who eat it like this raw. I don't know if you've ever eaten it raw, but there's a way for me, I guess. I don't know, but mm -mm 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 -mm. I can't take it. <laughs> and actually, you know, there's that variety which is green, like dark green, and that's really, really, really bitter. And some people eat it just like that. I mean, if you've ever tested it, how about you let me know what it tastes like? I mean, why do you eat it like that? Is, is it medicine or please let me know because mm, maybe I'm missing out on something. Please tell me so that I start if it's, if it's really worth it. Mm? You're going to need to do a lot of explanation before I can start trying it guys. Otherwise I won't just risk like that. No, 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 no. No. This 
so guys remember I added some salt in the fish so I'm going to add in some little salt here there's oil first and the, 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 the tomatoes getting ready so I don't know if it works for you as well let me know but this is how I do it if I want the tomatoes to get ready very fast guys so that's the reason I've added that one but be very sure that what you've added here is not going to be too much when added with the soup from the fish yeah so let's wait for it to get ready mm? <laughs> So guys, you can see the tomatoes are perfectly ready. Now I'm going to add this tula. I'm going to wash it, of course. Meanwhile, guys, another way I love this when um like when you serve this and then you have some beans alongside. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I can eat that one. Hmm? I don't I like it so much guys so you should also try it out it's really really tasty like you serve this as a side dish for beans it can be really nice with posho of course or even rice So remember there is some soup from the fish, we are definitely going to use that. We are first going to add the, the soup from the fish before we can add in any water in case we need to add water here. Yeah? This is green pepper, I am just going to cut and add in. I think I told you earlier on that I love green pepper. So some people opt not to add this, but I just love it. Ooh, so it looks colorful. So we're going to add the soup. This is what I was talking about. But the fish itself, not at this point. Because I still have to remove the bones off. Before I can add it there. So. Let me cover this here. And I remove these bones off here. Yeah? guys this right here is now the fish without the bones remember i removed the bones already so you can have a look at this so guys i'm going to add in now the fish so guys let me know how you mix your fish into the sauce or whatever sauce when you cook with fish because for us majorly, this is how we do it. By the way, we remove off the bones, then we add in only the fillet. So how about you let me know, do you guys cook some like some sauce mixed with fish, then you cook together with the bones? Because for us, we don't do that. It's a bit strange for me. Please let me know if you guys do that. I'm also going to learn something from you. <laughs> let me mix this a bit. Then of course, we are going to leave it. So you can imagine this test already. Mm? <laughs> Served with posho, guys. This can be something else. You just don't want to know. Please, if you can, try it out. Try it out, guys. Let's leave this here. Mm? And we come back. What? <laughs> Before even I touch it, just have a look. Just have a look at that. I think I don't even want to stir it again. Let me just carry it. <laughs> I changed my mind. Woo. And here we are. The sauce is ready, guys. You can have a look at that. As for this one, I'm going to need it to cool because there is a way the entula, this thing here, the bitter berries or the eggplants, whatever you call it, guys, 
it's very hot from the inside that you might swallow it like you might put it in your mouth thinking it's not hot but <laughs> you might end up spitting if you're not serious so i don't want to risk i'm just going to serve it and leave it to cool guys then i can eat comfortably understand what i'm saying Ooh. okay i'm tempted to eat it i must i must not Ah, see the steam, see the steam.